Hello, my name is Siegfried Egel. I'm assistant professor at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. And at Rubin, I am currently leading the Inner Solar System Working Group of the Solar System Science Collaboration. So nothing will really come close to the depth of the Rubin survey and the level of characterization that we expect for solar system objects. It is really fascinating that we have the capability to visit interesting objects and look at them close up. But to do that, we really need to know that they exist first, and then we need to know where they are, of course. And this is where Rubin will shine. So if you think of Rubin as looking at a beach, you see millions and millions of individual sand grains, but you also see the entire beach. There might be an area of yellow sand or an area of black sand, and a space mission you know, to an object in that region could actually tell us what these individual sand grains are made of and then give us a broader context of what makes it different. Because often we don't even understand what makes things interesting unless we know the context that it's in. Rubin is capable of giving us the prep time we need to send spacecraft out to interstellar objects. And that is very unique to Rubin. And it's, it's very unique to the time we live in. So with our current telescopes, we've been essentially just looking at the boulders on that beach. But Rubin will allow us to not only zoom into individual grains, but also really see these billions and billions of fine grain sand.